I wonder who they belong to. Hmm. I wonder if somebody's lost them. I wonder what kind of eggs they are. They could be from the bird's nest high above. They could be turtles' eggs. Or even a snake's. <laughs> They're definitely not spiders' eggs. Spiders' eggs are much smaller. They could even belong to the chicken from the chicken shed. <sighs> oh, busy, buzzy bother. I don't want to take them back to the wrong mother. <laughs> Imagine that if they were turtles' eggs <laughs> and I gave them back to the chicken. <laughs> <clears throat> that would be a terrible mistake. <laughs> hmm. There's only one thing to do, and that is take them back to fairyland and hatch them out myself. At least when they're hatched, I'll know who the mother is and I can give them back straight away. <laughs> Good idea, Barnaby. Better be very, very careful with these eggs. I don't want to accidentally drop them. Oh, yeah, that could be very squashy. And sad. Be careful with this. Hi, fairies. Um, look what I found at the top of the garden. Eggs. <gasps> eggs? Whose eggs? Well, that's what everybody's wondering. Who do these eggs belong to? <laughs> that is the question of the day. Who is hiding in the eggs? <laughs> The important thing is to keep them warm. That way, whatever's inside will keep growing and then hatch. Well, why don't we put them underneath our pillows and then sleep on them? That would keep them warm. <laughs> well, it would, Rhapsody, but if we rolled over in the middle of the night, we could squash them. Mm. A squashed egg, that could be messy. Well, why don't we catch a chicken from the top of the garden and then bring it back to fairyland? Well, it could sit on their eggs for us. 
Well, the chicken might not want to sit on the eggs. What if it doesn't belong to them? Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Hmm. Oh, perhaps we need to make a little box for the eggs to sit in. We could make it all nice and warm and then leave it in the sun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the sparkle box has arrived. That tricky sparkle box always knows when it's needed. <laughs> right, I'll look after the eggs until the box is finished. <laughs> Bye, Barnaby. Bye, fairies. up this mess. Mm -hmm. Well now all we need are the eggs. Well, how about we call Barnaby get him to bring them back to Fairyland? Oh good idea. <laughs> fairy one, fairy two, fairy three, Barnaby the busy buzzy bee. Hmm. Oh. Well he must be a long way away Rhapsody. Well maybe we should try calling him again. Okay. Can you help us call Barnaby the busy buzzy bee? On the count of fairy three are you ready? Fairy one, fairy two, fairy three, Barnaby the busy buzzy bee! <gasps> oh, oh, wow, fairies, what a great nest! Both sparkly and colourful. <laughs> and really, really warm, Barnaby. Oh. I hope the eggs hatch now. If they're going to hatch, I am sure they will hatch in this beautiful box. We just <laughs> need to put it somewhere warm now. Mm. Oh. Well, how about over there? <sighs> Now let's just wait and see. The eggs aren't going to hatch today, and I am very, very tired. Oh, me too, Barnaby. Mm. I think it's time for dinner, and then bed. Well, let's come back in the morning and see if anything's happened. Mm, okay. okay. Mm. Bye, fairies. Night, Barnaby. Mm. Night, Barnaby. See if the eggs that Barnaby found at the top of the garden have a hatch. Oh. Do you want to come? Sure do, fairies. Let's go. They're right over here. They're gone. Well, they can't have gone. We left them right here. We must have put them somewhere else. Oh, we didn't, Harmony. We left them here. Oh. Fairies, did you hear that? It sounded like... like somebody calling us. It sounds like Barnaby calling us, but really quietly. Yeah. Fairies, Tots, look what I found when I woke up this morning. Oh, They're so beautiful. Aren't they 
tiny. <laughs> oh, so they weren't dinosaur eggs. What a shame. I'd really like to meet a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're chickens, Treble. Mm -hmm. oh, well, aren't they Tony? Oh, they really need their mother. Oh, Barnaby, we need to find their mother straight away. You're right, fairies. We should go to the top of the garden. We need to find their mother. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for sharing this with us. It really has been a special time, hasn't it? Although, I'm glad they're chickens, not dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a special day. There's no better way to describe meeting tiny little newborn baby chickens than... Fan Fairy Tastic! <laughs> but now it's time to go. So until next time, from all of us in Fairyland... Fairy, fairy Goodbye! goodbye.